guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at the check if array pairs are divisible by k problem which is from lead code number 1497 and this is based on modulo arithmetic let's now look at the problem statement in this problem given an array of integers arr of even length n and an integer k we want to divide the array into exactly n by two pairs such that the sum of each pair is divisible by k return true if you can find a way to do that or false otherwise now if you look at the constraint of the problem uh, then we can have both positive number as well as negative numbers okay so the modulo arithmetic will work differently on them so let's look at an example for better understanding let's say that our given array is 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and our k value is equals to 3 now our goal is to pair the numbers to make it divisible by k right and uh, how can we pair this let's see we can pair 1 comma 2 in such a way that uh, if you take the modulo of k with 1 and 2 then the modulo here is 1 here it is 2 so if you add them up the modulo k will be equals to 0 right if you add these two up the modulo k is 0 if you add 4 and 5 up then the modulo k will be 0 as well now similarly uh, you can have more than one such way to do that but then if there is at least one way to uh, pair the items in such a way uh, that you make it divisible by k uh, then we need to return true that means it is possible or return false uh, that means it is not possible to do such thing so this is our entire problem i hope you were able to understand it now let's look at some basics of modulo arithmetic before we move forward to the solution so let's say that we take 3 mod of 3 the value will be 0 right because 3 can be divided by 3 with 0 remainder if you take 4 mod of 3 you get remainder as 1 5 mod of 3 remainder 2 and 6 mod of 3 remainder 0 now the remainders will keep on cycling right and the remainders produced will always be in the range of 0 to k minus 1 where k is the divisor okay but what happens for the negative number if you take minus 1 mod of 3 you will get the result as minus 1 uh, which is not correct the correct answer should be 2 because uh, the negative numbers have to be adjusted minus 1 uh, remainder means you have to add the k value to minus 1 and make it 2 so the remainder is equals to 2 okay so 2 is the correct answer again if you have minus 2 and you take mod of 3 you will get minus 2 which is incorrect the correct answer is remainder 1 so how you can get the correct answer is adjust it by adding the k value which is 3 in this case right so the remainder answer will be 1 now again for minus 5 mod of 3 uh, the answer which comes out is minus 2 which is incorrect the correct answer is 1 so you adjust it by adding the k value 3 okay k is the divisor so that is how you get the answer 1 so if the remainder is less than 0 then we need to do the adjustment for the negative remainders by adding the divisor that means k value to it to get the correct remainder okay so this is the modulo arithmetic in this case and uh, how to choose the pairs let's say that there is a number a and we have taken a mod of k to get the remainder as x this remainder will always be in the range of 0 to k minus 1 you know that now let's say you have another number b and you want to find out if you can pair a with b now if you took b mod of k then whatever is the remainder it must exactly be k minus x so that you can pair this a and b together how because if you had taken let's say 2 mod of 5 where 5 is the value of k then the remainder will be equals to 2 here a value is let's say 2 then what will be the value of b let's assume it to be 3 so that if you take 3 mod of 5 then you get the remainder to be equals to 3 so if you add this a and b and take mod of 5 you will get the remainder to be equals to 0 so whenever the remainders are added and you get the value equals to k that means the divisor that means if you add up these two items and pair them up together uh, it will be uh, divisible by k okay so a plus b mod of k will be equals to 0 if the remainder of a added with remainder of b is equals to k right and according to modulo arithmetic you can write a plus b mod of k equals to a mod of k plus b mod of k whole mod of k right let's take an another example let's say that k is equals to 4 if a is equals to 10 then what can be the values of b which can pair up with a so that a plus b mod of k will be 0 in this case the b's value will be 2 why this is 2 because a mod of k value that means 10 mod of 4 value will be equals to 2 so what should be the other value like k is equals to 4 the one remainder r1 is equals to 2 so the another remainder will be k minus r1 which will be 4 minus 2 again 2 so the numbers which will have 2 as the remainders are 2 6 10 14 
mod of 4 right and there can be other such numbers like this both positive and negative so this is how we can identify the possible values of b as well now let's look at the next example which is a equals to 3 if you look at it then if you take mod of k a mod of k then the remainder r1 will be equals to 3 3 mod of 4 will be 3 right so what will be the other part of the remainder the other part of the remainder will be k minus r1 which is equals to 1 so if b can produce remainder 1 then a and b can be paired up so what will be the possible values of b it can be 1 because 1 mod of 4 will be 1 5 5 mod of 4 will be 1 9 9 mod of 4 will be 1 and so on right so this will be the idea of pairing a with b okay now how to make all the pairs let's say that our k value is equals to 5 and let's say we are seeing three numbers 2 7 12 if you take 2 mod of 5 the remainder is 2 7 mod of 5 remainder is 2 12 mod of 5 the remainder is 2 then in order to pair all these numbers 2 7 uh, 12 they must be uh, paired up with such a number who will have a remainder of k minus 2 that means 5 minus 2 which will be equal to 3 in this case right so all these numbers can be paired up with another number who gives remainder 3 when you take mod of k so what can be such values let's say we take 3 so 3 mod of 5 will be 3 so yes 3 can be paired up with any of these numbers 23 mod of 5 is 3 so 23 is also a candidate 8 mod of 5 is 3 so 8 is also such candidate right but then if you want to exactly pair up this 2 7 12 all these cannot be paired up with the exact same instance of the number right they have to be different different pairs so we can form 2 comma 3 as one pair then we can form 7 comma 23 as one pair and we can form 12 comma 8 as one pair we cannot reuse the three multiple times because it is only present one time if it is present multiple times we can use that okay so this is how uh, we can pair up all the numbers now let's look at the pairing condition if k is equals to 5 then the possible remainders will be from 0 to k minus 1 right now if you want to create the pairing then if if uh, taking a mod of k let's say the remainder is equals to 1 then i should take another number b where b mod of k should be giving me the value of remainder k minus 1 okay in such a way that if I add this a and b it will be divisible by k so if the remainder is 1 for a the remainder should be 4 for b okay and vice versa if the remainder is 2 for a then the remainder should be 3 for b to pair a and b together if the remainder is 0 for a then its pair must also have remainder 0 because if you take any other number the addition of a plus b mod of k will not be 0 okay you have to be careful about that therefore the pairing can be done only when the frequency of the numbers which are having remainder equals to 1 is exactly the same as the frequency of numbers having remainder equals to 4 because if there are two numbers let's say 1 and 6 who who have a mod of 5 value equals to 1 then there should be two other numbers let's say uh, 4 and 9 whose remainder mod of 5 is equals to 4 exactly because if there is only one such number then how will you pair this 6 right you want to pair all the numbers so the count of both the number of items should exactly be same and that is why i have written frequency similarly the frequency of remainder 2 items should be exactly matching with the remainder 3 items and for the remainder 0 items the frequency should be even because if there are odd number of items with frequency 0 you cannot create all the pairs there will be one leftover item right so these are the conditions for pairing now let's look at a dry run for better understanding in this case uh, i have taken six numbers because the question mentions you will always have even set of numbers if you have odd set of numbers you will always get a false right so let's say the k value is equals to five so i will be uh, maintaining the frequency of each remainder using a remainder map and let's now look at uh, the parsing from left to right now let's look at the first item 2 2 mod of 5 is 2 so uh, the remainder is 2 and the frequency is 1 then you have 9 9 mod of 5 will be 4 so the frequency is 1 now you look at 0 0 mod of 5 is 0 the frequency is 1 then you have minus 4 so minus 4 mod of 5 will be minus 4 and then you have to add k value to it which is 5 and so the remainder becomes 1 so remainder 1 with frequency 1 similarly uh, minus 2 mod of 5 minus 2 mod of 5 will be equals to uh, minus 2 then you have to add k to it so that you get the actual remainder of 3 okay so this is giving me remainder 3 and uh, the count is 1 
again when you look at this 10 then 10 mod of 5 is 0 so increase zeros frequency to 2 okay so we have built the uh, remainder map with all the frequency for each of the mod values right now what i need to do you remember uh, this condition the zero remainder items uh, must have even number of frequency so is the zero remainder having zero uh, even number of frequency yes now for all the other remainders the frequency of one should exactly match with four and the frequency of two should exactly match with three so is the frequency of one exactly matching with four yes they are exactly matching and is the frequency of three exactly matching with the two yes they are exactly matching so in this case we need to return true that it is possible to pair all these items uh, so that all the pairs will be divisible by k okay so the time complexity in this case is we are iterating over all the items exactly once and we are pushing it into the map which is theta of one so i will consider it to be order of n and the space complexity is order of k because i will have an entry for each of the remainder right so the remainders are from 0 to k minus 1 therefore the time complexity is order of n space complexity is order of k let's now look at the code implementation if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code i have written the comments in detail so that it becomes readable uh, i will be given an array input with a k value and then i will be taking the remainder map as i had shown in the dry run after this, I will be counting the frequency of each of the remainders. If there is a negative number, then I will adjust it by adding K value, right? After having calculated the remainder map, I will be checking all the corresponding frequencies. That means if the frequency of one is equals to, uh, let's say X, then the frequency of K minus one should also be equals to X, right? Unless and until the frequency of zero, we, we want to just uh, make it an even number. So mod of two should be zero in that case, right? For remainder zero. Otherwise, for any other remainder, we have to uh, uh, check that both the frequencies are same, right? So I think the implementation is very simple and I hope you have understood the entire solution. If you still have any problem, do comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.